Hello, everybody. It's Cindy, and welcome to Cindy Lou Loves Glam 2. And no, you have not stepped into a Dr. Seuss novel. I just can't help rhyming things. I know it's it's annoying. It's weird. It, just bear with me, okay? Today, for you, I have had my eyes on these little Winky Lux Cheeky Rose blushes. They're just so cute. I'm going to show you them more up close in a minute here, but of course these cute little cream blushes that look like roses. And I am currently wearing some on my cheeks. You'll see that in the try on later on. I picked these up on a Cyber Monday sale. I think they were like 40% off. Plus it was my first um, order from Winky Lux. So I think I got like another 15% off. So I got them for like half off. Obviously had to pay shipping on top of that, but I think I ended up picking these up for about, I don't know, somewhere like 11, $12, I wanna say. I believe these retail for 22. I will look that up. If I'm wrong, I will flash it on the screen right now. I just think they're so adorable and um, I've been really wanting to get into cream blushes recently. So here we are and I figured, um, I know this is a fairly newer product. It's not completely new. I didn't get it as new as some of the or bigger beauty gurus or beauty reviewers did, but it's still new enough and I don't know. I just thought I'd show it to you and kind of give you a first impression. So if you're interested in that, stick around start i'm gonna go ahead and show you the the product and unbox it and you can kind of see swatches and everything up close so i got one in the shade knickers and the other one in and i think this might be actually the lightest shade you could pick up in it but it's like that dusty rose and it's called tea time so a uh, very bright pink and a very nice mauve dust dusty rose color here so without further ado Let's move on to the, the close-ups. I just thought I'd let you guys see what the packaging looked like. Got a chance to really look at it, you know, and get the whole experience. Now I have already unboxed this one and played around with it a little bit. So I'm going to kind of go ahead and take this out for you. Comes into this little thing here. And it does have some weight to it. You can see the cute little rose in there. And I hope that's not glaring too much, but when I open it, when I open it here for you, it does have a good clasp on it, I will say. <laughs> okay, and you see how beautiful it is. So cute. Adorable. Kind of see it from the side here. Definitely has that three dimension layer to it. I'm going to go ahead and open the other one here. Again, you can see the cute packaging. Okay, so you can also see this. And again, it's that beautiful little rosy gold here. Go ahead and and um, actually, just for reference, I always find that it's nice to have some reference, especially when you're talking about packaging like this. That's a little bit bulkier. And you know that it's a display piece, so you probably want to have it out in your vanity, but you don't know how much, um, really from the pictures without seeing it in person, it takes up. So I just thought I'd go ahead and give you some reference points for it. Um, it is, you know, you can see it's very, it's obviously very spherical. It's very hefty, actually. And I've just got a few things here. So here's, you know, for reference, here is an EOS lip balm. Because it kind of reminds me a lot of that shape. But it's definitely larger than that. I also have this Laura Mercier, I think it's a mini translucent powder. I got it in a Allure beauty box sometime last year. And so it's, I don't think this is a full size, but it is pretty darn close um, to the width of it and almost the height too. This is still just a little bit taller, but I find that that's also kind of a good 
shape indicator as well. This is a standardized LED light. And um, I was just thinking, because it's, it's so similar, at least on the top here, starting at this ridge, it's very similar in shape. The light bulb, the top of the light bulb here, it's actually just a little bit larger than that. So, you know, if you if you got that out and you're kind of looking at the halfway mark, you it's actually going to be smaller than that. So if you've got enough room for, you know, that, <laughs> then you should have enough room for one of these blushes. And then finally, the best thing that I've been able to find comparatively is like a little mandarin orange or a cutie. Now this one is a little bit smaller, but I have had certainly larger ones uh, come in little, you know, um, in the container. So I guess a slightly larger mandarin orange would probably be about the width and size of this. Um, so I hope that that size determination is, you know, helpful to you. These definitely have some heft to them. Obviously it's not... There's something weighted down in there to kind of really hold everything down. I thought I would give you an idea of what it felt like. I had like held off until just last night because I was going to try and touch it on, live here on camera so that we can both have the experience together. Uh, but I just couldn't wait any longer. So I'm going to go ahead and actually touch this one first. Um, I've already touched this one a little bit. I don't know if there's any marks on there. I don't see. That's the thing. I don't really see a whole lot of marks, but as I touch it, like it's, Ooh, Ooh, I did kind of, I did kind of press a little bit and I felt a little bit of give there. So I'm just going to touch it lightly. Now, as I'm, as I'm going into this one, this color, uh, this rose colored one, I am noticing it definitely melting to my finger and I do definitely see it changing shape a little bit and I didn't have that with this formula over here so I wonder if this one's just a little bit softer I'm actually a little bit scared to kind of press down on that anymore I mean not like you need a whole bunch of product but that's really interesting because <laughs> it didn't do that with this one over here I felt so here's that okay i'm i'm using a little bit more pressure with it than i was last night and that might not that might be ill-advised so you know obviously probably light pressure you know you probably don't want a whole bunch if the certainly if these are very pigmented blushes you don't want a whole lot of product on there anyway but i am starting to notice a little bit of the product caving just a little bit but for the most part, it is fairly solid. I don't think you should go smashing your hand into it, but it's not like gonna fall apart. I feel like that's that's gotten a little bit more worn, so maybe I pressed a little too hard on that. I don't know. Um, or maybe this, this color in particular is a little bit more delicate than this one. This might have a softer formula. This is a swatch I had last night of this, so keep that in mind when you're when you're looking at this, but... Okay, so here is that tea time color, and here is that, I think it's called Knickers shade. And that's just a pure swatch. So this is what it looks like when I take my finger and just kind of shear everything out here. See, it's nice and pigmented which is, I guess, kind of what we want our cream products to look like. And then I'm going to go ahead and shear this one out. And y'all, I have not used cream blushes in a while. So forgive me if it's a little bit sloppier. But you can see that's how that particular one blends out. And after, like, I almost, because I have washed this arm. So I'm just, I'm, I'm a little bit curious if this one might stain a little bit. And you just might want to keep that in mind if you don't want your cheeks to be stained. This is really pretty. This is obviously very, you know, bold. So probably a little goes a very long way with that. 
I do have a brush here. I thought it would be nice to kind of just kind of do a little brush stroke with each one of these. And this is kind of a brush that's good for foundation and creams. So, and <laughs> yeah, and hope this is all picking up on camera here. I think that's very nice. I think that applies very nice and evenly. I don't know if there's anything. It's it's definitely not as intense as when I've applied it um, with my finger. So, um, but I think that's definitely to be expected. I probably shouldn't have picked that much up on my brush. Whoops. Yeah, it might be hard to tell where my original swatch was. It definitely picks up very nice and blends out nicely with a brush. Like especially like a dense brush that's meant for foundation or um, cream, cream products. Okay, that looks really nice. I know it's hard to be able to tell. This is where I swatched it. This is where I brushed that Knicker shade. This is where I originally swatched and blended out that Tea Time shade. And then this is the brush. Um, and then I'm going to go ahead and apply it on my own cheeks. But I also have a model here who will help us out. Now I tried to put very light makeup on her. She's not perfect. I tried to do her her eyebrows and everything, but, uh, you know, she's just a model, right? We don't really need her for, for anything else. Her eyeshadow doesn't have to be on fleek. On fleek. Does anybody say that anymore? Good lord. I'm old. I, I want to make sure I get my um, blush brush really nice and wiped off here. Because I'm probably going to go back into that lighter tea time shade. So I think we'll do tea time on our little model here. Um, to see how that looks. And then we will do um, a live swatching on me. So you can see how that kind of applies to my cheeks. With the brighter pink shade here. I'm going to go ahead and lightly. And I don't know if you just need one, sw one swirl or what. But... Um, we'll just go ahead and kind of, and also keep in mind, obviously this is a, a plastic mannequin. So, you know, it's not going to be exactly like skin. Oh, wow. Look at that. That looks really pretty. I like that. I'm not really getting the best angle from what I'm, <laughs> from where I'm at right now. Because my whole setup is kind of uh, blocking my way. So um, I'm going to go ahead and turn her a little bit just to make sure. I actually think that's really pretty. I think I brought it down a little too much on her face there. But it's, ooh, that's a really pretty shade. And it, I feel like it blended out really nicely um, there. So we'll go ahead and also apply it with a brush here. I don't know how much of a swirl I need with that, but okay. I'm gonna first dab it on. Just blend it. I'm gonna kind of tilt her more towards me for just a second so I can kind of see a little bit better. My placement. Forgive my pa placement here, obviously, on this mannequin. But I think that also applies really nicely with a brush. I think I like it better with a brush. It looks definitely more blended and, um, I don't know, just more even and radiant. Obviously, I applied it a little too high here, but I really like that color. And I really like... How it applied with the brush here. 
So let me know down in the comments. It, do you guys, if you, if you use a cream blush and do you normally use um, a brush to apply it? Because every single time I've used cream blushes in the past, they've either been from a stick or from a tube, usually a tube. So I just like take the dots and just kind of rub it in with my own fingers. So I don't think I've ever really used a brush for that, but I'd, I'd be interested uh, to know if that's really kind of the way that, you know, you're supposed to be applying these cream products. I mean, not that there's really any one way to apply your makeup, but you know, certainly there's certain techniques that usually, you know, work a little bit better than others. I thought I would try this knicker shade so you can kind of see just how it applies in person on actual skin, not just a mannequin here. And uh, we will do the brush maybe on this side and then with my fingers on this side. So I'm just gonna kind of swirl in here and line it out. Ooh, that's bright. Ooh, she a bright color. <laughs> I might need to use another finger to kind of go along. Now, I know some people use um, beauty blenders and everything to apply. Oh, I may have brought that down a little too far here. Um, this definitely says uh, Cindy has made the decision to wear blush today. Um, once I kind of sit there and just kind of blend it, it eventually blends out. Uh, looks definitely really good on camera. I don't know how, um, cause I do have my ring light on here. So, uh, things might appear, um, not as bad outside of the light, but it definitely looks very bright in person, but it's not bad from when I originally put that on there. I like wearing a good bright blush every once in a while anyway, because I think it looks very nice, especially if you're already going to be outside in like cold weather anyway, and your cheeks are getting chilly. And now I'm going to go ahead and swirl around. It's got some product on here so that you guys can get a chance to see that. And I don't know if I just want to kind of go all in. or I just want to kind of buff it in to begin with. And I suppose you could always like lay down the product with your finger and then blend it out also with a brush. Yeah, I think I definitely like the way this applies with a brush better than my finger. Um, I think it applies more evenly and smoothly but I still like, I really like it. I think it also tones down, obviously, since you've got the brush on here, a lot of the product picks up on the brush and maybe doesn't exactly uh, transfer over like it would on your finger. Um, so it's definitely not as pow in your face. It's bright, it's still bright, but it's like just nice and even. Um, I think I do like the way that applies with a brush better. Keep in mind, it's been a while since I've applied cream blush, so, and I don't think I've ever really ever tried doing it with a brush before, but I really like it. I think it's a lot more even toned. Um, it's not quite as intense, but obviously if you want to kick that intensity level up, you can do that. Um, so now that we've seen that here and I've blended it out with my finger, I may go ahead, um, I'm just going to go ahead and try and blend it a little bit more with this brush. Yeah, that blends out very nicely. And I actually really like it with the um, the eye color and everything, I think it, it looks really nice. For me, like a makeup look isn't complete without blush, but it can be complete without contour. And that's just probably because of, you know, how I started doing makeup when I was in my teenage years, we didn't really do contouring or anything like that. I don't think bronzers were really a thing. Maybe they were uh, more towards like my late teenage years, but when I first started playing around with makeup, I'm just used to, you know, eyes, blush, lips. I've come a long way. I do my brows now. But anyway, so you can see 
the difference here. I do really like the way it applies with the brush better. It does tend to be a little bit streakier when you apply it with your finger. You can blend it out. I like how evenly um, it, it blends out with the brush, but I do, I really like the way it fits on the skin because it's not like, I don't feel like it's emphasizing any texture on my face. I just feel like everything's kind of nice and blended and it just kind of really sinks into my skin. So I really like this. Obviously this is a first impression. I need to use it a lot more before I can give a full review, but so far I'm really enjoying this. The packaging here, is absolutely adorable. You can't beat it. I was a little bit scared at first that it wouldn't hold up. You can see some melting there. I don't know if you could see it earlier. It is definitely looking more melted. But for the most part, the product holds up. Like I said, I wouldn't, like you can put pressure on it without and I just broke it on camera. Boy, so I guess you do need to be careful with it. Um, maybe I used a little too much force there. So we'll see if we can fix that. Uh, but eventually it's gonna start caving in like that anyway. Makeup breakup girls, where are we? <laughs> Oopsie. Um, yeah, so I guess we have lost a petal here. Okay, update. I was able to kind of push everything back into place. I thought I'd go ahead and show you that. But here's where I broke it and I just kind of pressed it. I kind of used my finger and I touched on the side to heat it up, warm it up a little bit, and then I just kind of pushed it back in there to melt. I don't know how long it's going to hold up or stay, but at least the pedal is back in place for, for, uh, for display purposes. Definitely you will want to be careful uh, with it. I hope you've enjoyed this. I hope this has been helpful to you if you really wanted to uh, pick one of these up or a few of these up. Um, they are a little bit on the pricey side, but and I know that they will take up, you know, space, but they're cute. I want to work with mine a little bit longer, but so far I'm like, I like the way the, the product applies. I have recently gotten, picked up some other cream blushes from some other brands and, you know, they don't all blend out as easily as you think. So I think as far as the formula is concerned, I think I like you know, just how smoothly and how easily it kind of melts and then you can apply and then blend it onto the skin. I have no complaints there. I'm going to obviously work with it a little bit longer um, before I can give a full impression, but my first impression is good other than, you know, I broke the pedal on here already. If there's anything out there kind of similar to this or there's anything out there that like you would like maybe for me to pick up in my next month's budget or something um go ahead and leave a comment down below or just leave a comment down below tell me how your day is going tell me like how your christmas season's going so far i'm probably gonna have this background up well after christmas because it took me a while to put it up I haven't hardly had a chance to film anything with it. And by the time I probably get everything edited, like we might be going into mid January anyway <laughs> with this background. Heck, it might even be Valentine's Day and there still might be Christmas trees, you know, behind me. Who knows? We all have those times like there. Come on. We all have those times when we just don't get that Christmas tree down until March. Come on. Don't tell me that hasn't happened to you a few times. So anyway, that's it. You can feel free to follow me on Instagram or Twitter, but thank you very much for joining me. Of course, I hope everybody has a great um, holiday season. I hope everybody stays safe, uh, wear masks, wash hands, do zoom calls don't do huge huge christmas gatherings it is terrible out there and i know it stinks i know it does trust me um but it's really important that you go ahead and make that sacrifice this holiday season zoom's doing things for free so if you want to have some zoom christmas dinners together but definitely uh keep your gatherings to your bubble keep it as tight as possible because 
it it's it's really bad out there it's it's scary it is frightening crowded and overwhelmed our our system is i don't want to keep talking about this because it's such a bummer at christmas time and i probably got christmas music going on in the background here but still save stay safe this holiday season that have a great day, evening, weekend, whenever you're watching this. Thank you so much for joining me. Bye.